I'm working on calibrating this old platform scale. This is part two of a multi-part video. For best results, be sure to watch part one first. In the last video, I inspected it and tested it, but it wasn't quite right, so it needs to be adjusted. I took it apart to show how the adjustment works. I cleaned a few things and fixed a few things. Now it's back together and ready to test again. Make sure the platform is floating inside the frame. Make sure the movable weight is all the way to the left. The beam is hanging low, so I'm going to zero it out with the zeroing weight. I can get it to zero out, but the zeroing weight is all the way to the end of its travel. That's because I removed some dirt and rust from the platform, sanded on the boards, removed them screws. So now I need to compensate for that weight. I'm going to put the zeroing weight in the middle of its travel. And I'm going to change stuff on this end of the beam to get it to balance. This weight hanger has some junk in the bottom of it. And I'll take out some junk to get it to weigh less. Remember, this is just a balancing machine. If it's not balancing right, you can add or remove weight on one end or the other and get it back to where it should be. I put some PB Blaster on this earlier, so hopefully it'll unscrew for me. So let's see what's in here. There's some shotgun shot and some spent bullets, some other junk. I'm going to separate the bullets and leave the shot in the bottom. Make sure the zeroing weight's in the middle of its travel. Make sure the sliding weight's all the way back. And I'm going to add bullets until it balances. That bullet was too much. Luckily, there's a half a bullet fragment here. So I'll put that many bullets back in the bottom of the weight hanger. And the zeroing weight will be within the proper travel range again. Okay, that zeroes out nicely. Let's see what happens with the 50 pound weight. Well, you can see I made it worse. Not surprising since I didn't take any care to get it back where it was. But now my adjusting parts are clean and it'll be easy to adjust. So which way are you going to move it? Right now, the 50 pound weight has too much leverage because it's lifting the beam too high. I'm going to make the arm longer so the 50 pound weight has less leverage and it shouldn't be able to lift the beam as high. I didn't get the screws in this shot. I'm going to loosen the set screw Move the bolt one full turn and then tighten the set screw again. I have the scale on the floor again and I re zeroed it. Now I'll do the 50 pound test. Well, that's moving it in the right direction. 
I just need to keep moving the adjustment the same way. Okay, I'm under the thing again. You can see the screws this time. I'm going to loosen the set screw, move the bolt a half turn, and then tighten the set screw again. I use automotive jack stands to get under there for that. You have to reposition everything and re-zero the scale each time you move it. So a half turn was too far. I'm under the thing again. So far I've been tightening the screws by hand. Now I'm close. I'll start tightening this with a wrench. You don't need to get the wrench to the upper bolt. Loosen the bottom set screw. Then move the upper bolt. Then tighten the bottom set screw. Don't over torque it. It don't stop like you're tightening a head bolt. There's a lot of flex in this design. And it might strip the threads before it feels tight. You can expect to get under here a number of times trying to find the sweet spot. I'm laying on the ground here. So Jake thinks it's a good idea to come over here and sit on me. That's how he gets my attention. Alright, gotta walk the dog. I have it on the ground again. I already zeroed it out. And now I'm gonna do the 50 pound test. That looks pretty good now. I had to tweak it two more times off camera to get it right. And since I haven't fixed the movable weight yet, I might have to tweak it again. After changing the arm length, the platform don't have as much leverage as it did before. I have the zeroing weight at the middle of its travel and the beam is hanging low now. So I'm going to take all the bullets out of the bottom of the weight hanger again. And now it balances with two and a half bullets on there. Now I'll put those two and a half bullets back in the bottom of the weight hanger. And it'll be balancing within adjustment range again. I have the bullets back in the weight hanger. And I have the scale zeroed out. I'm going to put the 50 pound weight on the platform. And the half pound weight on the hanger. And that balances nicely in the middle of the window now. So the next problem is going to be this movable weight. I'm going to slide this to the 50 mark. And the beam's balancing way too high. Let's see how many washers I have to add to get to the right place. That looks pretty good there. Now I'll add those two washers to the stack on the bolt. And that's going to change the way things balance. So I'm going to zero out the scale again. Now I'll put the 50 pound weight on the platform. 
and the half pound weight on the hanger and that's where it balances out now it's a little bit higher than centered in the window so remember that position now I'll take off the half pound weight and I'll slide the movable weight to the 50 mark and here's where it balances that's pretty close but a little bit lower than the half pound weight on the hanger I'm going to change a washer for a different washer that's a tiny bit smaller. That looks pretty good there. It's a little bit higher than center in the window, just like it was with the half pound weight on the hanger. Now I'm going to put the half pound weight on the hanger again and see if it's the same. Now that looks higher now. I took off two smaller washers and put on one big washer. And that's closer. But I want it to be the same as this. But this is still higher. Okay, after some more tries, I came up with a stack of washers that makes the beam hang in about the same place as the half pound weight on the hanger. Look at the gap above the beam there. I'm going to slide the movable weight back to zero and put the half pound weight on the hanger. When the beam stops moving, the gap above the beam is the same. Okay, now that the movable weight at the 50 mark balances the same as the half pound weight on the hanger, I have to adjust the length of that arm under the scale again, so that both of those things balance in the middle of the window. I made another adjustment. Let's see if it worked. First, make sure everything is hanging properly and zero out the scale. Now I'll put the 50 pound weight on the platform and the half pound weight on the hanger. That looks a little bit high. Now I'll take off the half pound weight and slide the movable weight to the 50 mark. That's a little bit high also. It's good to see that they both hang in the same place, but it's a little bit high so I need to tweak the arm length again. Okay, I made another adjustment. First I'm going to zero it out. Here's the 50 pound weight on the platform. And the half pound weight on the hanger. And that's too low. That means I'm going to adjust it again. I moved it a tiny bit again. I'm going to try to not overshoot it. Here's the zero position. Here it is with the half pound weight on the hanger. Still low, but closer. I moved it a tiny bit again. Here's the zero position.
Here it is with the half pound weight on the hanger. That's pretty good there. Maybe a tiny bit high, but I might leave it there. Here it is with the movable weight at the 50 mark. And that's pretty good there also. Maybe a tiny bit high, but the same as the half pound weight on the hanger. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and call it good. Anytime you're done, you should be able to remove the weight, and it should return to a good zero point. Most scales I've seen with this size of frame were advertised as 500 pound capacity or 750 pound capacity. These wheels are smaller than any other scale I have around here. So I'd claim this is probably a 500 pound scale. Maybe 750 pound at the most. But up here on the weight rack, you have 200, 400, 600, 800, 900, 950, and 50 pounds on the sliding weight. So that's a thousand pounds. I'm confident that this is not a thousand pound scale. So I'm going to remove one of these 200 pound weights. So nobody wants to put a thousand pounds on it. Remember those pins under the platform that I showed in part one were bent from excess load on this scale. Since this is a balancing machine, you can compensate for any box or can or maybe just a protective cover that you want to put on the platform. I'm going to use this box as an example. It's a bad example because this box overhangs the platform too much. But it's the only one I had laying around here. So now I'll hang this wire that has a few old sockets on it. Any old junk will work as long as it balances out the weight of the box. If it's off slightly, just adjust the beam a little bit. And there it is. The box has been teared out. So the reading on the scale will be what's in the box, not including the box. Now I'll put the 50 pound weight in there. And this half pound weight should balance it out. I'll put this 30 pound weight in the box and the beam will balance with the sliding weight on the 30 mark. So the total weight in the box is 50 plus 30 or 80 pounds. When you're done you should be able to unload everything and get the beam to balance out to zero again. I'm satisfied that this scale is pretty accurate now. Remember this is a balancing machine. It's only as accurate as the weights that you set it up with. All the smaller weights are as accurate as my old postal scale. But the 50 pound weight I've never had certified. I have compared it with other 50 pound weights I have. And I can check them with a bathroom scale, but that's it. To do this properly, you need a 50 pound weight that's checked and certified. The only other thing I want to talk about is this movable weight here. To finish this properly, I would need to make a new lock screw out of brass. And it has to weigh the same as that bolt and washers there. After I make it, if it's too heavy, I keep making it smaller or drill a hole in the bottom. When I go too far and it's too light, 
I can glue some BBs or something in these holes in the bottom of the weight. Those are the balancing holes from when it was set up originally. When it's done, this weight at the 50 mark has to offset the 50 pound weight on the platform, just like the half pound weight on the hanger does. About four years ago, I made a video called What's That Old Wheel Horse Way? In that video, I show how I get a garden tractor on an old platform scale. And I show how I compensate for the weight of the wood ramp so the scale reads the weight of the tractor only. You can find that old video on my channel or search for the name What's That Old Wheel Horse Way? If I remember, I'll put links to my other scale related videos in the description. Okay, that's about the right position. So the total weight is uh, 200 plus 50 plus 33. So that's 283 pounds for the 1958 wheel horse RJ58. All right, that's it.